Hey guys, welcome back to Mo's Game Table. Today we're going to take a look inside They Fell Like Stones. It's and Luana. This is a game designed by Michael Kennedy and published by White Dog Games. I picked this up recently at CSW Expo Dallas. Uh, I really don't have anything on a San Luana. This is, uh, I did have Zulus on the Ramparts at one point, but this is the only game that I'll have in my collection here. This is a solitaire game, and uh, that alone makes it quite the interest to me. And uh, White Dog Games makes a lot of great solitaire games. So let's take a look at the back of the box and see what this game's all about. They Fell Like Stones is a solitaire simulation of the Battle of San Luana, 22nd January, 1879. The player commands the Imperial side while Solitaire rules control Zulu action. Counters represent Imperial and Zulu combat units, artillery guns, a rocket battery, key leaders, camp personnel, supply and ammunition wagons. Some units are mounted troops, which have a counter for both mounted and dismounted status. The Zulu Impi, or army at San Luana, consisted of several regiments, Ibuto. Individual Zulu units were loosely organized formations belonging to the regiment printed on the unit counter. And we have an example of the counters and the map here at the top. We have the components listed out as an 8-page rulebook, 32 by 24 inch battlefield map, 176 counters, 44 Glynn's detachment counters, one player reference card, and one setup sheet. And I list out the sequence of play down here at the bottom as well as some features. But let's take a look inside the box and see what you get. Here we get our rulebook. Terrain effects chart and setup card got some loose counters here got a sheet and a, about a quarter of counters and our map so let's set up the map and take a closer look at the game and here's a look at the map that comes with the game we have our turn track at the top right that gives you 20 turns there are no other charts or tables on the map the rest of it is just the terrain features that you'll be fighting on you have uh, Talani Ridge, Neone Ridge over on the left and right, and you also go to the far right for Conical Hill, and you have the escarpment that goes down through there. You've got rocky terrain throughout. You've got the encampments here where the tents are. Then you have uh, Lion's Head, the Saddle, Black's Copy, and then Fugitives Drift down here to Rourke's Drift here is San Luana's here as well. And that gives you an idea of the area that you'll be fighting on. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of room for maneuver, which I think is going to be pretty fun playing this game solitaire. Now we'll take a look at the player aids that come with the game. We have the setup card, which gives you the setup for the Imperial and for the Zulu forces on the left and right respectively. Then we have the player reference card that gives you the sequence of play broken down for you. Imperial Artillery Fire rifle fire, carbine fire, and the melee results table. And on the reverse side, we have the terrain effects chart, which lists out the terrain, the movement costs, and the conditions surrounding each of the individual pieces of terrain. Now we'll take a look at the counter sheets that come with the game. This is uh, printed by Blue Panther, so you know you're gonna get those nice thick counters. And as you can see, the illustrations on the counters are fantastic. These are Imperial forces here. You've got Zulu forces down at the bottom, and then administrative counters on the right-hand side. And the quarter sheet of counters is the Glynn's detachment. That's also what those loose counters were for. There are 44 counters here. And just like the other counter sheet, they are double-sided, so you're going to have two-step units here. And we'll take a look at the rulebook. It is an eight-page rulebook. Rules go up to page seven. On page seven, we have some optional rules and scenarios. Then end of turn and historical notes on page eight. The title of the game comes from a quote here from Zulu Warrior that says, Those red soldiers, how few they were and how they fought. They fell like stones, each man in his place. So that gives you the title of the game in context here with that quote. Start off with the introduction, we get components, which we've already discussed, an explanation of the map and the counters themselves. And the counter explanations continue on into the second page. You have your setup, sequence of play, stacking limitations, imperial movement, how you move your imperial forces, the offensive fire, an explanation of some of the terrain features and how movement and fire is accomplished across those. And we continue on through artillery fire, rocket sections, rocket section fire procedure, the Zulu movement for solitaire and Zulu fire for solitaire. So this can be played opposed if you wanted to play it opposed. Imperial defensive fire and withdrawal, melee, optional rules and scenarios. Those, as we said, start on page seven. Some of the optional rules, you have the NNC infantry ammo supply, Imperial ammo resupply, native resolve checks, last stands, and save the colors. And the rulebook completes on the back with the end of the turn and the historical notes from the designer, Michael Kennedy. And that is a look at everything you get inside of They Felt Like Stones, It's and Luana, a game designed by Michael Kennedy and published by White Dog Games. 
If you've played any of the other White Dog Games titles, you know exactly what you're going to get as far as quality goes. Uh, Blue Panther does a fantastic job for White Dog, but White Dog also really does provide excellent graphics for their uh, maps as well as for their counters. The rule books are very easy to read, uh, really do a great job on them. So I've had a really good experience with the majority of White Dog games that I bought. There's been a couple that have, you know, just didn't sit well with me for whatever reason, but I know they're still good games. Other people really enjoy them. Uh, but I always buy with confidence when it comes to White Dog games. I, I really enjoy the titles they put out, and I'm looking forward to checking this one out, especially being at Salter. And you also have the option that you can, you can play it opposed if you'd like to. Well, I hope that helps you guys out if you've been curious about this one. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time.